It's a privilege to be here with Margaret Taylor, the widow of Ken Taylor, one of my closest friends. Had the privilege of being at his funeral a few years ago, and uh, it's great to visit with Margaret, who's in such good health at 94. Can you just share how the Living Bible, how did that get started in the first place? We had always had family devotions after supper in the evening and read from Bible story books because there were always younger children. We have ten children and so we tended to read for their level and when the three older ones were 19 and 11 or the year later Ken realized, oh, they sh we should be reading from the Bible and they should be getting doctrine from the epistles. And so he started reading to them and I took the little ones into another room and still read from Bible storybooks. And uh, he was reading from the epistles to the older children and asking them questions and they often couldn't answer them and he he would say well what Paul is saying and he would rephrase the last sentence that he had just read or the paragraph then it dawned on him after I don't know how long that went on um, that if he would write out a mm -hmm. chapter or a part of a chapter in his own words, um, then he could read it to the children, and um, they would be it would be easier to understand. understand. Yeah. And so. Uh, that's how it all got started. That's that's how it all got started. Well. And eventually he realized that well, other families could be helped too. Mm. So why don't I consistently, you know, go from book to book in the yeah. epistles, starting with Romans yeah. and going all the way through uh, Jude. Um, thank I, you, thank you for sharing that. And uh, we'd like to send you the biography of Ken Taylor if you'll email us, george.burwer at om.org. And when you go to Christian bookstores, keep an eye out for Tyndale books. You can almost be sure they're good books. And we thank God for Margaret and Ken, and now Mark leading Tyndale House, and Jeremy's getting involved at Tyndale House. And we're just thankful to God for what he has done.